This is LBC News. Now, the number of new cars made in the UK has fallen to its lowest level since 1956. A total of 775,000 were built in 2022. That's down by more than 40% on pre-pandemic levels. Meanwhile, the cost of used Teslas, they're also dropping. Joining me now, Mark Palmer, Brand Insights Director at Auto Trader. Mark, good to have you with us. Good morning. Good morning. Let's start then, shall we, with that drop in production of new cars in the UK. Uh, surely it's got to be pretty disappointing news for the industry and problematic too, no doubt, for anybody perhaps looking to buy a new or used car. Uh, yeah, I mean, first of all, to, 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 uh, to take the first point, it is disappointing, isn't it? But, but the wider context is that uh, the car industry has been affected, of course, and still remains affected by the COVID pandemic from 2020. That, that, that you know, the lag of that is, has been going on for quite some time. It, it, the, the market, new car sales have been actually down every year by 25 to 30 percent. So this isn't kind of new news. And these production figures released by the SMMT, whilst they are disappointing, they do reflect the what sort of wider sense of what's going on in the market. There are, though, having said that, um, emerging signs that supply of new cars is beginning to return uh, in, in the kind of way we would have expected it a few years ago. And there are uh, still plenty of used cars for sale. So, um, yes, disappointing figures, um, but they are reflective of, of kind of a, a, the downturn that we first started to suffer a few years ago. How then does that weigh up against uh, consumer demand? Uh, demand, interestingly, um, has been really, really positive throughout the period, uh, the, the last few years. Um, the uh, the uh, kind of the top line story is that when a car is available or when a new car is built, uh, they're, they're sold and they're sold really quickly. Demand main, uh, is, is, is keeping uh, robust and healthy. And, and you'll have listeners, actually, that ordered cars you know, maybe even a year ago when, when, you know, when Boris Johnson was prime minister or, or, or Russia had just invaded Ukraine and, you know, inflation was not double figures and that kind of thing. So waiting times for new cars have been really, really, really long. Um, used cars have been selling quickly. So the market is in, uh, the, from a sales perspective and for consumers is in, is in, is in decent health despite all of the, the kind of wider macroeconomic conditions. Right. Let me tell you about my own little story. Do you want to hear it? Yeah, definitely. Of course I do. <laughs> I had to wait last year seven long months, Mark, for my new car. <laughs> bearing in mind, I drive to work and my old car was literally falling apart. And you know what? I was told it would be a quicker wait than to wait for an, a used one, which I thought was extraordinary. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a common story. Uh, it really is. And we saw, you know, we've seen a lot of, you know, consumers considering different types of cars, different types of brands, uh, different ages of cars and all sorts of things because they've needed to change. Um, and, and that might persist, you know, for, for a little while because cars obviously that weren't built um, a couple of years ago um, will not be returning to the market as used. So, um, you know, we still expect the demand and supply balance to be to be um, to be healthy. We don't think we're going to be oversupplied. Um, now, just one, one point to make, though, these figures don't mean from a production perspective and that, you know, um, we're in agreement with the SMMT. We share their point of view, but this doesn't mean that the car market is in bad shape. I wouldn't want this to feel like, a, you know, another piece of, of bad news. Um, the, the, the question is really, and this is the right one that the SMMT is posing, is whether or not the UK will recover as strongly from the pandemic effects as other countries. Mm. Auto Trader also revealing uh, the price of some Tesla models has dropped, well, pretty significantly, actually, just in the past three months. Tell us more about what's been happening with that. Yeah, so I mean, it's back to that kind of demand and supply point. Tesla is, a, is one of the manufacturers, actually, that was able to ride out the um, production and supply chain issues of the pandemic pretty well. You know, Tesla produces a lot of its own components. It was able to continue manufacturing cars. And so consequently, over the last few years, um, there's been a big volume increase. Tesla's done really, really well and sold a lot of cars. And that, 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 you know, that volume has been increasing year on year. It's really been driving kind of the electrification of new car sales. Now, what happens, of course, is that when those cars come back into the used car market, sometimes there are um, too, too many for the demand at that particular time. And what's happened over the last few months is that Teslas that were bought sort of two or three years ago have come uh, new, have come back into the market as used. Um, and there aren't the buyers necessarily to, to absorb that, um, that, that supply. Um, now, what that means is that prices have sort of started to, 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 to normalize maybe a little bit. They were inflated and now they begin to fall. So prices of used Teslas have been, um, falling for, uh, you know, a few months. 
That's not reflective of the wider electric car market, though. So, again, you know, there might be headlines around, you know, electric car prices falling, that kind of thing. Um, it's really important to understand that they are for some Teslas, but then for other brands, uh, you know, more mainstream brands might be more recognizable or, you know, brands that we see on the roads all the time, their electric cars are actually doing really well um, because the supply demand um, equation is in balance. So, um, yeah, there's, there is a lot of news around Tesla at the moment. They, they dropped their new car prices uh, uh, just last week by £5,000 roughly on certain models, about 20%. That had an impact on used car pricing. Um, but, you know, Tesla will continue to produce and to sell lots of cars, which is great news for the electrification of the industry. Um, and we are seeing, um, you know, areas of, of, of really positive news in other um, electric car models. Just uh, finally then, for those perhaps pondering whether to go fully electric in the future, maybe they want to make a big purchase this year, um, but are worried about energy costs. I mean, you've still got to use your electricity, haven't you, to fire up an electric car, and we all know what's happening with bills. Um, are more being pushed into, like, uh, hybrid models? Um, we've seen, I mean, consumers need to make the, the decision that's right for them, actually. So um, with plenty of interest in electric cars, although you're right, that kind of uh, the household bills, the cost of electricity, the cost of the vehicles themselves, um, that is having an impact on demand over the last few months. That's, you know, that that, that is fair. Um, we've seen um, not a massive switch into hybrid models. I think, um, again, that's around availability. Manufacturers are very much upping their production of electric cars in the new area. What I'd say to people um, who are thinking about changing their car, <clears throat> not sure which, um, which, you know, which sort of power to use for that car, um, do your research. There's plenty of choice um, of electric cars, petrol cars, hybrid cars. Make sure that it does the job uh, you need it to do. Um, and we haven't seen a, a move necessarily away from electric in, into hybrids, but, um, we, you know, we would encourage everybody to do their research. Good advice indeed. Really good to speak with you this morning, uh, Mark. Really interesting. Thank you. Mark Palmer there, Brand Insights Director at Auto Trader. Auto Trader. Auto Trader.